The trim command allows two walls to come together at a common intersection. To see that, let's zoom in here to where we have column grid 2 and column grid B crossing each other. I'd like to have this wall and then this curtain wall to come together at a common intersection. To do that, I'm going to begin by selecting on the wall itself. After the wall's been highlighted, take a look up here on the ribbon. And there are technically three different commands which are considered the trim command. The first one, and the one that's really probably the most common, is trim extend the corner, where you select on one wall, select on another wall, and they both come together at a corner. We're going to try that with this particular wall, and I'm going to tell you right now that it's not going to work quite right. And that's okay, but I wanted to show you what the effect is going to be. So, select here on the trim extend corner, click on this wall, click on the line there that makes up the curtain wall, and it looks like it's going to bring them to a corner. But as you can see, they're hitting each other and not really cleaning up the way that you'd like them to clean up on one another. The reason is, is that one of these is a curtain wall and the other is a basic wall. Now, if this had been two curtain walls, they would have cleaned up on each other just fine. If these had been two basic walls, they also would have cleaned up on each other just fine. And when I use the term clean up, it means that when the two walls would touch each other, they'll have a nice, smooth material transition in between the two of them, as opposed to what we have here, where they just hit each other. So to undo this, I'm going to hit escape a couple times on the keyboard, come up here to the undo command, and click the undo arrow. Now they've been pulled back apart again. Select once more on this wall. And there are two other kinds of trims that we could try instead. These two, in fact, work almost identical to one another, except trim extend multiple allows you to do more than one. And this first one just does it once. Let's use this trim extend single element. So click on that, move down here. And down here, you'll be able to see it says select a reference as the trim extend boundary. What it wants us to do is select on the face, in this case, of this mullion. Now click the end point of this wall. When you do that, it's now brought this wall down, so it's now perfectly in line where the edge of this mullion is at. Now let's do the same command again. We'll want to select on this face and then bring this over so that it lines up here at the intersection. So there's two different, or technically three different types of trim commands that are available to us. The first one, which is trim extend the corner, on regular walls, such as these two basic wall types over here, it'll bring them together and bring them to a perfect corner and have no material problems. It'll just clean up on one another like this. In certain conditions though, you may need to use trim extend single element. By using that, you can bring one wall down and line it up with another wall. By using that command twice, you can then bring them together. The third option, which is trim extend multiple elements, would have been if we had had three or four walls we wanted to bring up and have go flush against the face of this wall. We could have picked this wall first and then picked each of the walls we wanted to stretch themselves out and then hit the face of this wall. And it would have worked with multiple walls instead of just the one wall.